final word is for the man who is usually my final word, Richard. Thank you for the opportunity to have worked beside you to appreciate your professionalism and your friendship. All the very best for the future, and as you said at the beginning, it has been a long but enjoyable stint. All the best, Richard. Thank you very much, Mike. Well, this is the night. The last 7 o'clock news bulletin for me after 20 years or so behind the news desk here. It's been an extraordinary privilege to have had the opportunity to bring you the news for so long, but it's time for a change. I'm looking forward to new broadcasting challenges and uh, there will be some evidence of that popping up on your screens in only a week or so. But the most important thing to say as I bid farewell to the news is to thank the vast array of people that I've worked with over the years. There's a big team putting the news together each night. The reporters, the camera crews, the editors, the producers, the control room and studio crews, the makeup department. To all the news teams over all these years, thank you. And to all of you, loyal ABC News watchers, especially warm thanks. Now, it's a great pleasure to be able to hand over now to Tony Eastley, who'll be sitting in this chair on Monday night. I warmly wish him all the very best here at 7 o'clock. Thank you, Richard, and goodbye to you from all of us here in the newsroom. For the past 20 years, you've been the face and voice of ABC Television News, and in that time, from behind that desk, with your authority and charm, you've given Australians a better idea of what's going on in this crazy world. Hi, welcome back to Behind the News. Tonight, our nation ride has... Animal wrapped up in a handkerchief, keeping warm inside my shirt. You probably think I'm mad, but it feels good to me. decision to throw open the Berlin Wall, at least two million East Germans have crossed to the West. For the first time, Australia has recognised the legal existence of Aborigines prior to white settlement. Tonight, the Gulf War begins. Paul Keating was sworn in as Prime Minister today. Violence continues to rack the East Timorese capital. The man known across the cricketing world as the Don is dead. From us, for now, a very good night. Good night. And that's the news to this minute. 7.30 report is next, and that's the news to this minute. From me, good night. Well, some memories there. And that, as I first said a long time ago, is the news to this minute. Kerry O'Brien with the 7.30 report coming up next, but from me, good night.